Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be going over what I added to my game this month. Before I start, I have an announcement. I now have a Discord server. You can find the link to it in the description. Okay, now let's get started. First off, I added to the player movement system by making the player lean in the direction that you're moving. This makes the movement feel a lot better. I also made it so if you're strafing forwards and right like this, then it'll add to your movement speed and you'll go a little bit faster. This is how the system originally worked. I'd have an input action strafe left and input action straight right, and if it's being pressed down, it would increase the movement speed. The system worked okay, but I noticed that it was adding extra speed when you were going right or left, so I changed it to just use a simple event tick and ask if the player is moving forward, backward, or left and right at the same time. Next, I added a rocket launcher, and I also made it so you could rocket jump. I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel if you want to figure out how to do that. And I also made it so that if you're within a radius of the rocket when it blows up, then it'll deal a little bit of damage to you. If you remember from my previous devlog, I said that the sword was having some issues knocking enemies back, so I changed it and made it so it will freeze enemies in place which makes dealing with the dashing enemy a lot easier. Next, I added a particle effect when you hit enemies with the sword. However, I did end up changing this later because it didn't fit the art style of my game. Next, I made particle effects for fireballs and other fire elements. I changed them from the base ones that I was using just because I wanted these ones to fit my art style. I then started making indoor areas with the Blockout Tools plugin. It's only a couple dollars and it makes blocking out indoor areas really easy. And then for the sky I just used a free art asset called the BP Good Sky. I then added Screen Shake when the weapons are firing. This makes them all feel a lot punchier and better to use. Weapons like the shotgun or the rocket launcher have a lot more punchiness when firing. It just makes all the weapons feel a lot better to use. I then started working on ammo pickups, and absolutely nothing went wrong. They were perfectly fine. Here are all three ammo pickups I have so far. I made it so that you can't pick up any more ammo if your ammo counter is full, so you have to shoot your weapons first before you can pick up anything. Next, I changed the sprite for the dashing enemy, and I also changed the particle effect for the sword. And I made the dashing enemy press a button when he launches forward, so then it's more easy to see when he's charging after you. I then made an enemy spawner blueprint that allows you to check a box to change which enemy it will spawn. And then you can spawn in an enemy using a box trigger or a button or something like that. And it works for all the enemies I have in the game, and it's really simple to trigger multiple together. The spawner works by calling an event that asks what variable is selected, and then depending on what variable is selected, it will spawn a certain enemy. Here's the spawning system working when I go over the box trigger. Now I'll end the video with just some raw gameplay with the music that I've created for the game.